Welcome to Homework Help for Tuesday night, August 28th, 2012, for pre-algebra. Okay, tonight's homework is comparing and ordering integers. So part of it we're going to compare integers to each other, and another part we're going to be put, placing them in order. Okay, so on this first problem we have compared the following integers using uh, less than, uh, greater than, or equal. So I'll do a couple of examples for you. Um, let's take a look at this one first. Um, how does 10 compare to negative 10? Well, 10 is positive and negative 10 is negative. If I were to look at it on a number line, if I had 0 here, I have 10 here, negative 10 would be here, that would place, uh, that would mean that 10 is the greater one. Okay? So, um, 10 is the greater one. So I use the greater than symbol. Uh, for the second problem, let's try uh, this one here. Uh, negative 14 compared to 1. Well, I know that negative 14 is negative, and negatives are less than the positives, and 1 is positive. So I know that that will go that way. Okay, so that is a less than. Negative 14 is less than 1. Okay. Um, next set of problems here, we have to order our numbers from least to greatest. So we have to find the smallest number here and then march our way up to the greatest number. Okay, And then pay attention because here they want it in reverse. They want it backwards. So they want the least number to start first. I'm sorry, the greatest number to start first and then they want it to go down to the least. Okay, um, As far as the next set of problems. Here they're asking us to list three integers that are less than zero, list three integers that are greater than zero, three integers that are greater than 99, three integers that are less than negative 50. So let's try this one. Let's three integers that are less than negative 50. Okay, well, um, uh, I know if we have negative 50, less than negative 50 would include um, negative 51 negative 52 and negative 53. So those are good examples to use. Okay, um, and let's move on to the next side. On the back side of the homework we are looking at footsteps on the rug. Look at the footsteps on the rug. Dad measures the rug by counting his steps. Aaron measures the rug by counting his steps. Who has to take more steps to walk across the whole rug? Well, let's just position this up here so we can see better. So there's uh, Dad's footsteps and there's Aaron's footsteps. So uh, it looks like Dad gets more space. He covers more ground and less footsteps. So Dad took one, two, three, four steps and he got farther than Aaron who took one, two, three, four of his own steps. So it looks like dad will be able to get across the floor um, quicker or in, in less steps than Aaron will. Aaron will have to take more steps. Um, so be sure and include that here. This asks if dad walks across the whole rug how many steps will he take in all? So uh, what you want to do here is look at how many of these uh, bars one foot takes up. Well it looks like his one foot takes up three of these bars and the next one takes up three. So you just need to figure out every three bars how many steps that is. So every three bars counts as one dad step. Okay and then you want to be sure and show how you figured it out because if you don't show that you won't get credit. Uh, moving on to number three, if Aaron walks across the whole rug, how many steps will he take in all? So same thing with Aaron, except Aaron's feet take up two, two bars. So you want to count how many sets of two bars there are, and you know that that's how many steps Aaron had to take across the rug, and then show how you figured it out. Again, this is where you get your credit and your points for the homework. Finally, um, if Aaron and his dad each took six steps, who would walk farther? Okay, so based on the information above, at that point you should be able to answer this. Okay, good night and good luck.